From a, from an energy standpoint, and they're building with their losing streak, mounting and everything. How did you feel like that played out in the second half, and what were you trying to do to counter and find some groups that worked? I mean, it's, it's tough because it was, it was their push was basically all energy. Um, you look at what they were able to do in that third quarter in transition. Um, they got some key offensive rebounds, second chance points. But that third quarter is just, you know, we, we just stopped guarding. Um, and again, just, just being able to take, you know, when you, you play a really good first 24 minutes, you go in, you look at a few things on, on film, you got to be able to remember what you did well, try to, you know, have the mindset to correct the few things you did wrong uh, and, come, and come out with a purpose, with a sense of urgency. Um, and obviously, we weren't able to do that. And that one quarter gave them life. And you have two players, two all-star caliber players where, with, with two all-stars, basically with, with Brandon and, and, and uh, CJ. And the active Larry Nance, very young, good young player, and Herb Jones, a good shooter. And, um, and um, um, damn, I'm, 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 Murphy. yeah, Murphy, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, but. Yeah, just just being able to to understand that and and the way they they got they got their points, you know, and they got their energy was just again running out and with us, you know, missing maybe a layup or you know getting discouraged or even celebrating after a made shot or something like that offensively, and they're just moving on to the next play and rushing it right back at us, and you know it it really was detrimental in that third quarter. Third quarter. Um, you you mentioned the third. The last five seconds uh, of that quarter, blow by drive from McCollum and then a, a bad inbounds pass. Yeah. Um, how critical w was that specific stretch in terms of momentum? And, and how much did you guys pregame discuss no, we, inbounds? We, that, because that, that definitely that was a clip on the pregame tape. You know, it, um, it was CJ Scout. And, uh, you know, that, that was one of the things he highlighted in his pregame film was, you know, uh, Alvarado is similar to T.J. McConnell in, in that regard. Like he, he he lurks around as you you know casually taking the ball out, and then boom, he just pops out of nowhere, and he was able to do that. And in that in that juncture of the game, it's like it's disheartening, it's disappointing, but. I mean, you just got to be aware. Um, all antennas have to be up. You have to, you have to constantly, you know, strive to be to improve possession by possession by possession on both sides of the ball. And we just, you know, we had a lapse. We had a mental lapse. They had six points, I think, off of bad inbounds plays. Yeah. Or after makes. Uh -huh. um, when you talk about self-inflicted wounds and stuff like that. The disappointment lags are part of it. That those are definitely go in the category of a self-inflicted wound, where you know someone hits a shot, we drop our shoulders and, and try to think about what what went wrong. And then as we're casually throwing the ball in, you know they're playing on their toes, and at that point we're on our heels. So we just got to get better. We got to learn from this and get better. We got we don't have time to to you know. Cry over spilled milk. These games, you know, it, it, it's it's getting to the point where you know, we 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 got to win these games, and we have full control of the game. No disrespect to New Orleans; they're a hell of a 